Morning everyone and welcome to In The Sphere with Vijay Eswaran. This is Ariella Thompson and today I have the privilege of talking to Dato Sui Vijay Eswaran, Executive Chairman of the QI Group of Companies, about a topic that's near and dear to my heart how to climb the career ladder and break free of middle management. One of the first things, the the biggest thing on my mind that I really wanted to ask you about is in your mind, what is the most valuable trait a person can have that will help them grow into leadership? Into leadership? Into leadership. Well, first one needs to define the difference between being a manager and being a leader. As a manager, your challenges are always to balance between the company and the people that you lead. Managers have to think in terms of departments as opposed to individuals, whereas leadership and leaders focus on the individuals. So, you know, being a good manager does not always make you a good leader and vice versa. How do I shape my mindset to be ready to grow into a position where I can be a very effective manager? Well, good managers actually very rarely become great managers. A good manager is a definition and a destination by itself. You know, so good managers spend their whole lives being good managers. They don't make the transition of breaking out of um, middle management per se or being managers per se into transforming themselves into uh, CEOs. And that breakthrough is a phenomenally important uh, mindset that needs to evolve. So I used to say this a lot. Everything that a good manager learns in order to become good he will have to totally eradicate in order to become a CEO. Every habit that he picked up to become a good manager must be systematically removed. So to make that transition, he has to be reborn. And he needs to rethink where he's coming from and where he's going to. Definitely. You actually, you mentioned a couple of things earlier that were quite interesting. You mentioned one of the key traits of a a good manager is altruism, but also that a great manager needs to be uh, militant. How do I draw the line? How do I balance these two very, very different traits? A good manager spends maybe 95, if not 100% of his time, essentially in urgent matters. And he's a master of being urgent. And he's the go-to guy. So companies actually love them to death. You know, you need someone who just plows the fields, you know, who keeps on doing this regularly. Independent thought is not something required from this person. The exact opposite of a great man, a CEO. A CEO, however, needs to focus on important just as much. It's not that he cannot... For, uh, you know, look at the urgent matters. He needs to. He needs to balance it. Good mm-hmm. managers know how to look down, and they—that's what they're focused on. They don't have to lift their head up. You know, they are, they want a simple uh, order of command, a line of authority that goes to two, three people. They don't want to deal with anymore. They shirk. They shirk it. Literally, run from it. The greatest hell that you can create for a a good manager, a middle manager, is more than, you know, one line of operations. For the CEO, he starts with a board of directors, means automatically he has a dozen people he has to deal with. So the mentality is entirely different. He, he is at an apex of a pyramid that's inverted. A CEO has to report to the board of directors. From the board of directors, he has to go on to shareholders, which is like this. And then he has to report to Uh, the general public. So continuously, he has more bosses than he can count. 
See, the good managers, so to speak, the middle managers, never understand this. Their point of view is everybody below them is at this apex, right? They are the apex of this pyramid and they want a clear line to the CEO. And they are proudest when they report only to the CEO. So the mentality is, is completely opposite.